Like we have the same. Sh <laughs> Whoa. Hey guys, it is Cameron. Today I'm actually going to do a sit down video. And this is one that was actually asked for. Someone on my Instagram asked me to do it. So here I am. I'm going to do my shoe collection. This is just like my personal collection of shoes that I have. Like I wear my sister's shoes a lot. We have the same shoe size. So we share each other's shoes a lot, but this is just my shoes, if that makes sense. So the first group of shoes I'm going to do is my Nike shoes, like just Nike shoes. Like I have basketball shoes, running shoes. Some of my shoes are missing. I don't really know where they are. They're probably in my sister's room because this is not a lot, but I know I have more than this. I think some of them are missing, but oh well. So the first shoe I guess I'm going to start with is just these. I don't ever, 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 ever wear these. They're actually my sister's, but they've been in my room for so long, and she doesn't wear them. I don't wear them. But they're like brand new. Nobody ever wears them, though. They're just the black, like, free runs. Basic. This is reflective. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No. No, it's not. I'm just kidding. It's not reflective. I thought it was, but it's not. So the second pair, I guess I'll just go into these. These are my KD8 Ant Pearls. I've had these for like four or five years. The bottom of them are like yellow, if you can tell now. They used to be clear, but these are probably actually like one of my favorite pair of shoes I've ever gotten. They're a little bit big on me, but oh well. Um, the next ones are these Prestos. They're like all pink, and like some of them are like different shades of pink. I don't know. These are also, I wear these a lot. They're kind of dirty. Oh, well. Yeah. These ones were on sale, too. They were like $65, I want to say. I don't know. Um, my next ones are these Kobe ADs. I never, 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 never. Look at the bottom of these shoes. I never wear these. I think I've worn these two or three times. And they were like $130. Like, I don't know why I don't wear them. They just don't really go with any outfits. And they look really big on my feet. So if I do wear them, it's usually with like sweatpants because they don't look good with anything else. But I loved these shoes whenever they first came out. And then now I got them and I'm like, mm, I don't really wear them. Whatever. What are you going to do, right? So these ones I've had for a while like since like seventh grade like I've had these ones for a while they're just the cool gray Hirachis they're still like besides the sole they're still clean like I don't really wear these too much because they like that part's like silver they don't fit it's like looks like purplish on camera but it's really not it's gray it's gray but I don't really wear these that much I got them a little bit too small for me I think it was the last size they had and I wanted them really bad at the time, so I still got them. They don't really fit me that well, but I still wear them. Whatever. Um, these ones, I was really upset about because I wanted these so bad, and I got them. I also, mm, they look dirty, but they're really not. I've worn these probably like three or four times. Um, I wanted these so bad, and I got them a size too big because I was like, oh, I'd rather them be comfortable. No. Look at how creased. This one's way worse than this one. But they're like, I've worn them like three or four times. Like the like design that's on the sole on the inside is still new. But look at how creased they are. Like I did not take care of these. So I'm probably just going to get a new pair of those in a smaller size. Because these shoes literally go with any outfit. Like they fit any outfit. And I ruined them. So whatever. So, these shoes I got Christmas Eve last year. They're stuck together. Hold on. They're just the all-white Pyre 2s, I want to say. I think they're the 2s. Sorry if I'm wrong. Yeah, they're the... 
I think they're the Kyrie twos. I'm pretty sure. The inside sole is yellow, but everything else is white and silver. And I just got these. This used to be like blue. Now it's not. It's like clear kind of now, but it used to be like a bluish color. <laughs> Wore those ones a lot. This got like really dirty and like I cannot clean it. Um, I wore them to a party and someone stepped on my shoe. No big deal. It's fine. But I never really wear those anymore, ever. These ones are actually Nike ID custom for our school. I use these as my basketball shoes, but I don't play basketball anymore. The bottom's white, and then it has, like, these. Oh, can it focus? has, like, these blue specks in it, and then this is navy blue. The tongue is blue with a clear logo up here. Silver Nike sign. Uh, they're basic. This, um, laces are white with, like, silver specks in them, and then they say my name on the inside. Because I was that type of freshman, yes. Hello, hi. That bitch. So, the next group of shoes I'm going to go into is Adidas, and then one pair of New Balances, because I wasn't going to make a group just for New Balances whenever I only have one pair, so. Let's get into that. So this first pair that I have are the ZX Fluxes, which I wanted these so bad. And they were like $30, like they were cheap because kid size, but now they are way too small for me, like way too small for me. And like some of the, like the Adidas signs like pulling up, like I wore these every single day like that one is also one of these was and i glued it down yeah <laughs> that one was i glued it down because it was like really bad it was like halfway all the way pulled off i never wear these anymore but i absolutely loved these shoes whenever i first got them wore them every single day but now they're just like too small for me they're not comfortable at all but i used to love these shoes I still do. I still think they're cute. I just cannot wear them because they hurt my toes so bad. But I love those shoes whenever I first got them. These shoes are very dirty, but I wanted these so, 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 so bad. I could not find them anywhere my size. They, like, turn purple, pink, bluish. I absolutely loved these shoes whenever I first got them. Like, I wanted them so bad they're just the adidas superstars and they're like the iridescent ones i love these shoes and i never really wear them anymore i still try to like this part like changes colors which i think is so pretty but i never really get a chance to wear these because i don't really have anything to wear them with so i don't wear those too much unless i'm like wearing sweatpants again they're just not a shoe i normally go for anymore these shoes are also really dirty because I wear them to work a lot. They're just like a cream white. I think these are called the tubulars. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure that's what they're called. I'm not exactly sure. But I thought... No, they're not the tubulars. They are not. I do know that. I don't know what they are, though. Not sure. But I love these shoes. They're... They have, like, the light pink laces. This was light pink, but it got dirty because the fabric it's made out of. But it's just, like, a creamy white. Like, here's a regular white compared to this color white. And it just looks dirty, but, like, it came cream white. But they, I mean, they are dirty, but whatever. Um, The next shoes, these are, like, they're like the Nike free runs, but they're not. They're the Adidas ortho light i mean that's what it says on the inside no, don't don't take my word for it because i don't really know i just got these because i thought they were cute they go with a lot i can wear them to work which i do wear them to work a lot and they were cheap they were on sale so i just got them i feel like a lot of people have like this one because it's just gray and black you can't go wrong with a pair of gray and black shoes so i just picked those up really quick because they were there and I really thought they were cute. So I just wear those to work. Now these ones, I wear these shoes all the time. They're gray. 
They're New Balance is obviously not Adidas. They're the 574s. They're like a cool gray color. And then if you can see, that's actually light pink. The ends like this design in here I think was really cute. Even though that's not what you see whenever you're wearing them. Light pink. The sole is light pink with like a white strip. I thought these were really pretty. And they were only $30 on Black Friday. And the laces, if you see like those little line like dashes like the light gray lines in them that those are reflective I thought these were really cute so I just picked them up they're really 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 comfortable I really like these shoes I wear those often the next group I'm gonna get into is Jordans I only have three pair two of them are like running shoes I don't really know two of them I don't wear one of them I do I think are really cute but two of them no so these ones were given to me by one of my friends. I never, 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 never have worn these. Ever. This whole, like, all, this is actually gray, not black. But the whole gray part's reflective. I just don't like them. That's the real truth. I really just, they're not me. No. Maybe if I play basketball. But, no. Not for me. The next pair are like these Jordan running shoes. I got them in like 8th grade I think. This, like the orange line that goes up here, that is reflective. I like that about them. I used to wear these a lot whenever I would wear like an orange shirt or something, but they just don't ever really come in handy. I wear them sometimes, but usually, no. So these ones, I love these. I wanted them for so long. And do you see this? Dirty. These are the Citrus 11s. I wanted them for so long. Finally got them. The white, I think, was just so pretty with, like, the stripe of orange and then the orange bottoms. But now they are brown bottom shoes. Brown. They're too small for me, but I love them so much I still seem to squeeze my toes in them. They are painful, but pretty hurts, doesn't it? Yeah. So for this group, I have all my slides. I only have four pairs, so I just included a pair of Converse and the pair of Vans that I have because I didn't want to spend a lot of time on those. Cause... So the first pair that I have are these red high-top Converse, which I did like a lot whenever I got them. Now they're just kind of like gross. They're not gross. I've only worn them like not that many times, but they're just like kind of dirty. Because of the places I wore them to. But I never really wear these anymore. I also have a white high top pair of Converse that I... They're brown. Don't wear those. Never will again. So, yeah. The next pair of shoes is this these pair of Vans. I wear these every single day. I absolutely love this shoe. I think it is so pretty. And it just goes with everything because I'm always wearing black or gray or white. So it goes with all of my outfits. Um, the checkers, I wish they were more white, but they're like yellowish, like a cream white. I wish they like matched this instead, but I'm not the one that designed them, so I didn't really get to choose. But I just love these shoes. I wear them almost every single day because they just go with everything. They're easy. They slip them on. So now I'm getting into my slides. So, yeah, let's start that. The first ones I have are these pink Birkenstocks. They're like the rubber ones. I don't actually remember what they're called. But they're like rubber, like... Like rubber. And then I just love the white buckle on these. I also really wanted these. These ones were cheaper than like 
the normal Birkenstocks, obviously, because they're, like, rubber and super light. They're so comfortable. I just had to pick these up. They were, like, $35. I could not say no. I thought they were so cute. I wore those ones a lot over the summer and whenever I ref volleyball. That's usually what I wear. So I also picked them up in yellow. It's turning out kind of orange on camera, but it's not. They're yellow. I like these ones a lot, too. I think they're really pretty with the white buckle. So I just got those also because I was wearing my pink ones so much. I thought, why not get another pair? So that's exactly what I did. The next pair are like, these are the Birkenstocks. Oh my gosh, my toe prints. These are the Birkenstocks I've been talking about, like the normal ones with like the cork bottoms. They obviously aren't as flimsy. These ones, I never wear these. I think I've worn these like three times, which I don't know how those got there since I've never worn them. Only like two or three times. Literally, like you can still see the yellow. Like, I don't wear these. But I got, I have them. They were like a hundred something dollars and I have them for no reason. But these shoes, okay. I wanted these shoes so bad. Could not find them anywhere my size. So I got them a size too big, but still wear them. Because I like them that much. It's just the Nike slides with the two strap. I loved, love, love, love these whenever they first came out. So of course, I had to get some. So that's what I did. This next group that I'm going to do is my boots that I have. I am definitely missing quite a few pair of shoes I'm noticing that are not in my closet. I wonder where they went. My sister took them. All of them. Because my mom. Okay, my mom could have taken my Sperry boots, but I don't know where they are. Whatever, not a big deal. So, the first, I'm going to start off with, like, in order that I got them, that I, like, had received them. So, we're going to start off with these ones. Look at how dirty they are. Look at all the mud on them. Mud, yes. But these were the Pink Uggs. They're limited edition. They were really expensive for what they were. And I have tore them up. I've had these for about six years, so whenever I go, like, sledding... Like, look at this. That's not what your Uggs are supposed to sound like. Whenever we go sledding or stuff like that, these are the Uggs that I wear. So that's why they are so tore up. Sorry about that. Um, the next pair of Uggs that I received were these brown Bailey Bow Uggs. Just the bows on the back. I had these for about four or five years. A little ratchet but whatever no big deal I don't really wear these anymore I just don't think that the bows are in style anymore so never really reach for those but the next pair I have were these like weave ones I thought they were really cute they're like have a like pattern almost like a basket type pattern and then up the back they like tie it's hard to show because they're like flimsy like that they like tie up the back crisscross and then you would just tie it into a bow with like these metal aglets. I wear these ones quite a bit because they're really comfortable. I feel like I'm not wearing anything whenever I wear those. I feel like slippers. The next pair were these gray ones. I actually bought these ones myself. They're just the plain gray basic ones. Because I didn't have any like just basic pair besides the pink ones and those aren't even... Basic because you have to be wearing the right outfit to wear those because they stand out. They're really bright. And then my last pair of boots are these tall, glossy hunter boots. I wanted these ones so bad. I actually wear these quite a bit whenever it gets cold outside or if it's rainy. They keep your feet so warm and I just think they look so good with every outfit. I just really like rain boots. And these ones are like super comfortable. So, and then they have like the buckle, obviously. So yeah. So I believe those are all my shoes. I'm definitely missing a bunch, which I apologize for. 
But the shoes I showed you are the ones that I wear the most. And if I knew that one of the shoes I wore a lot were missing, I would realize. So the shoes you didn't get to see weren't that important. Not a big deal. So thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe down below. You know the drill. So I'll see you next time. I know your song.